everyone, and welcome back to the zoo. Today is our next episode in Sombat Zoo. I wanted to give you guys a special episode today, so today we will be showcasing two separate habitats. Both of these habitats were rather small in size, so I wanted to give you both of them together to not split up the video into two and just waste you guys' time. I, in saying that, the first habitat we're going to be taking a look at here is our red panda habitat. This is the first habitat that I wanted to experiment with my idea of kind of having this uh, aquarium look that I told you guys I wanted to do with this zoo as to where the guests come and have a singular viewpoint into the zoo and you have this like picturesque viewpoint for that uh, from that angle if you will so I met I was met with a few challenges in this build and it didn't quite work out the way I planned uh, if you guys are familiar with the aquarium builds and aquascaping as it's called where you you take an aquarium and you fill it with plants and trees and the like to make it look like a scene from nature uh, the limitations we have in this game is in order to create the kind of density of plant life that you would see in an aquarium, the piece count just gets way too high. Uh, so you'll see in in the upcoming minutes here, I, I nearly broke my game. Uh, it got to the point of where as I would place a piece, it, the game would just like freeze for a good 2-3 minutes before I could even move my mouse or anything again it was it was really bad I almost I literally almost fried my game so I had to go back through and delete a whole bunch of the pieces that you'll see me place in the next couple minutes here but all in all I, I'm pretty pretty happy with how it turned out again this was my first kind of experimentation with this theory that I wanted to do here uh, what I learned from it is I have to make them smaller and I do just have to reduce the density because I'm not gonna get quite the look I was hoping for uh, in comparison to like how you would do on an aquascaping where like uh, there's branches and trees and plant life all over the place right we just don't have the assets available yet but either way I, I think you guys will like how it turned out here so if you do like the content please do remember to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel, please hit us with a subscribe as well. I think you'll like what I have in store for you for the rest of Sombat Zoo here. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, I know it was a little bit of a drought since my last video compared to my normal upload schedule. Just, uh, you know, work stuff, school stuff kept me away a little bit. And also, like I said, I nearly broke my game. So it took me a while to figure out how I was going to fix it at first i thought it was the red pandas that were doing it just because as i was like building it i put the pandas in of course and it, it seemed to coincide with uh when i released the pandas it seemed to coincide with the game starting to freeze but really it was just the sheer amount of uh density i had created uh in this habitat so either way i fixed all that i hope you guys uh like the end result i'm going to include a picture of the inspiration for this I actually linked it to my Instagram already uh, the picture that I used as the uh, inspiration for this habitat so you guys can kind of let me know how I did as far as recreating it it was a uh, aquarium in the 2018 Brazilian uh, aquascaping championship I guess it's called and uh, I don't know I think it turned out okay you know uh, Using the assets I had available, uh, you know, you can't quite get the same look as an aquarium, but I wanted to create a nice picture scape uh, for the guests viewing from that specific angle. As you can see, I, I created a lot of like custom tree assets, if you will, by combining different trees along with branches and having like outgrowths of. Uh, plants like shooting up from the canopy of another tree and these broken trees I tried to utilize uh, as uh, roots right roots and broken fallen tree limbs and stuff like that right like when you see in nature right like uh, 
there's tree limbs and branches and broken trees all over the place, right? So I want to kind of to recreate that. What you see me doing here is exactly how I broke the game really quickly. I, I created like a, a mass of these tree limbs and then I just copy and pasted along with these, uh, uh, forget the, I always forget the name of this bush, Pro, crowberry bush or something like that, one of my favorite bushes. As you see, I, I make a template and I stick it over there and I'm just layering it, layering it, and layering it. And uh, the, the sheer amount of like, uh, I guess, polygons and pixels and whatever, the game eventually just said, stop what you're doing. I cannot figure out how to process this. I, I'm assuming it's just these mass amounts of tree branches that did it because I, as I went through and deleted a bunch of them, still keeping the, the look of having them sticking out, but just there was a bunch of them under the mesh and stuff that I just didn't need. And uh, it, it, it cleared the game up for the most part. If you're unaware also, uh, there was a new update patch to the game. Basically just a bug fix patch uh, as the team was getting back over the holidays and whatnot. They managed to clean up a bunch of uh, really annoying bugs uh, on their forum. They did have they did put a post outlining all of the different uh, bugs that they fixed. But basically, it fixes bugs with guests, fixes bugs with uh, crashing due to uh, different what do you call it? Different uh, things going on in game like. Uh, uh, the crowds of people were like getting stuck and uh, crashing the game and like when you were uh, moving paths or building paths next to uh, guests it would cause them to get stuck and everything like that so all in all they fixed a lot of those bugs and uh, one of the ones that I, had affected me quite a bit is if you cancelled uh, an animal move like you know when you go to move the animal and you box it up and it's like uh, ready to fly across the habitat or whatever if you cancel that at a certain point it would like really bug out and it would create a bunch of issues they seem to have fixed that so that's one that had plagued me quite a bit uh so all in all yeah the frontier is is steadily uh, updating and patching and fixing bugs and everything like that i'm super impressed with their support so far and we're we've only got one dlc so far you know so you can expect a lot of stuff to come from them with this game and I'm super excited to bring it to you guys. Uh, as far as our habitats today, this is the last of our uh, Chinese section of our zoo. So this is again the red panda habitat that you're seeing right now. Uh, the red pandas are native to China and the surrounding areas. Uh, there's only about 10,000 of these cute little guys left in the world so they are endangered. Uh, they do need our protection as per usual with most animals that you'll be seeing in this game. Uh, they are the cutest little guys. They're, they're avid swimmers and climbers, uh, which actually created uh, m most of the problems I had with these guys in game here, trying to just contain them in this mass of trees and uh, limbs and whatnot. They can climb on absolutely everything and like they jump quite the distance to get there as well and uh yeah it took me a while to uh contain the little guys in the, the habitat at the end of the video stay tuned for the cinematic shots you'll get a full overview of that habitat we just finished up there you'll get to see it in all its glory uh this here is the start of the pangolin habitat so i wanted to include the pangolins in this as well because they don't need a huge habitat and I didn't want to make a video just for them, right? It would it would have been too short, or I would have just had to like, you know, just talk and talk and talk for more than I had to, right? So I, I wanted to include it all in one video. I knew it took me a couple extra days to get this one out, anyhow. So I figured I'd just throw them together uh, and have them both together for you guys here. So I hope you like that style. I wouldn't expect. Uh, to see two animal habitats in one video going forward but you know for these ones it just kind of worked two little small animals two little small habitats so uh, including them together was okay for me the chinese pangolin now is an, uh, an incredible animal right it's like 
a mix between like an anteater and an armadillo and it's just like the coolest little animal it's the only mammal in the world to be completely covered in scales and unfortunately this is the reason why it's often trafficked it's actually the most trafficked animal in the world they'll they even mention this in game right it's it's really sad you know like this adorable little animal is being trafficked uh, more than any other animal just simply because of these scales uh eastern medicine is like it just blows my mind the fact that in, in like 2020 there's still people that believe these like hocus pocus medical uh things where they think like you know if i snort rhino horn it'll it'll make me have a you know be- make me better in bed or like a uh, tiger's paw gives me the strength to defeat my enemies you know what i mean like come on you guys like just take modern medicine don't be killing animals to get their 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 parts you know what i mean it's it's absurd and uh i think the the, the best way to help animals like the pangolin is to just spread awareness right like spread awareness to the fact that no their scales don't provide you with this miracle uh of medicine right so by spreading awareness that's kind of the easiest way not only to stop people from using them for medicine purposes but also to to care about the animals right to protect them and whatnot so Either way, these are the coolest little animals. I didn't realize they could swim up until this point you're seeing here in the video. I I plopped them in the habitat and they instantly started swimming out of the habitat. Excuse me. Uh, initially, I had planned to just have them with like the water separating them. And when these little guys started making a run for it, I was like, okay, I guess we're going to have a... Uh, a, a, a walkway surrounded by rocks to keep these little guys in here but it worked out pretty cool as you can see i'm turning this uh little walkway into like a glass showcase i wish we had a uh like a statuette of the pangolin i think that'd be super cool but as of right now i just filled it with uh red pandas you'll see here in a second but uh, either way, I- I'm super psyched with the look of these uh, habitats. I think the uh, red panda habitat turned out fantastic. And the pangolin habitat is a great little interlude into the next section of the park. Uh, into the next section of the zoo, rather. The next section we're going to be doing is the Japanese macaque uh, habitat. And I already have a cool idea for them. And after that, uh, I'd like you guys to actually let me know what you'd like to see. It's either going to be Southeast Asia, so including like Indonesia, uh, Thai style of uh, building, Indonesian, Polynesian, all, all this sort of stuff for the animals we have in game. Or I'm going to move to the other side of the park with the uh, India zone right so you guys let me know what you'd like to see next after after the japanese macaque uh i've already started on the japanese macaque habitat so that's already in the works so you'll have to wait till that's finished in order to uh see the rest of it but either way uh let me know what you guys think of the zoo so far Uh, i'm pretty happy with how this zoo is turning out so far myself I, I hope you guys appreciate the work I've done so far. It's been a challenge for me to to do this kind of building and whatnot. You know, uh, I think my building is growing. It's coming along, but, you know, it, it's still not to the point of where I need it to be or want it to be. But I, I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. If you have any requests for specific animals, the animals in this zoo are going to include... Uh, all the Asian stuff, so we, that's things like the orangutans, the gharials in the India section. Uh, we, we also are going to do the Formosan bear in the, the Taiwan section. I don't care what modern day China says. To me, Taiwan is Taiwan. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into the politics of all that. Uh, but for myself, you know, if you look on a map, says Taiwan so they get their own special little area uh, for their Formosan black bear 
Aside from that, you know, we have Southeast Asia and the Himalayas, including things like the snow leopard, Siberian tigers and stuff. Uh, one question I wanted to pose to you guys, and maybe you can let me know down in the comments, is would you like to see uh, an Arctic section in this park as well? Because we're already going to have kind of a snowy area with the Himalayas. Would you guys like to see an Arctic section as well? That would include uh, the uh, polar bear, the reindeer... Uh, timber wolves, Arctic wolves, right? Because not only are they in North American Arctic, but the Arctic does stretch into Asia as well, obviously, right? So technically, you know, this is an Asian zoo. We could include these Asian animals uh, in our zoo. If you guys would like to see that, uh, definitely let me know in the comments and we can make plans to add a Arctic section to this zoo as well. I'll leave that guy up to you guys, but either way, if you are liking the content, uh, please do subscribe so you can see the videos that come next. Uh, there, there's been great support with the channel. Uh, you guys know I love all the support you give me. There's only like one person that like comes through the videos every time and like downvotes the video. If you're watching this, uh, just leave me a comment you know like let me know what you don't like right like you, you you're the only one so far that's downvoting the video so let me know why you don't like it right I'd, I'd love to hear what people think positive and negative right i'm i'm open to criticism i'm open to uh uh critique right you know i'm not opposed to it i am still learning myself so let me know what you think positive or negative i love to hear from all you guys uh if you haven't joined the discord yet please do so but other than that, stay tuned for our next build. Uh, I'll leave you with some cinematic shots here. I hope you enjoyed these two habitats. Have a great day, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.